Hi there, this is Andrew and this video series is intended to share some of the things that I've learned about using spreadsheets and other uh, online tools to save time and increase productivity, especially in the nonprofit and education sectors. I'm not an expert, but hopefully that'll make my explanations more accessible for uh, other non-experts and I'm happy to answer questions posted in the comments as I have time. Uh, and remember that you can pause and rewind uh, the video if I go too fast. With this video, I'm hoping to start with just an orientation of why I'm going to be focusing on Google Docs uh, and the Google Apps, like Google Slides, um, which is what we're looking at right now, Google Sheets, Google Docs, and Google Forms. I'm going to talk a little bit about why I'll be using those in these uh, tutorial videos, and uh, we'll see briefly how to create and share collaborative documents and that'll be the objective today. Colleagues will be able to create and share collaborative documents. So I use Google Apps pretty frequently and that's what I'll be um, introducing you to especially with Google Sheets uh, with this video series and the reason is that um, they're free and accessible. Anyone can sign up for a free Google account. Uh, multiple people can edit the documents simultaneously so you don't need to worry about having a document stored on the shared drive and not being able to access it or not having the most current version. Everyone can be changing it and updating it at the same time and everyone will see those changes immediately. Um, and also you can uh, send it to people to ask for their input and connect data sources. So say you want to send out a survey and then have that data be accessible in a spreadsheet. Um, Google Apps allows you to do that instantly. So for all these reasons, uh, I'm going to be focusing on how to use Google Apps and specifically Google Sheets. Um, so let's start and see what Google Apps looks like. Um, and so if you, if you have a Google account, you can log in and you can just go to the open a new tab and it'll look like this. And you can go uh, to the Apps icon here and you can see the various apps that are available. We have Google Drive, the Calendar, maps, all kinds of things, and you can see more if you go down, but the one that we'll start with is going to the Google Drive app. And in here you can store um, different uh, files. So you can store Excel files, you can store pictures and documents and things, and you can create folders um, to store them in, and you can do all that by going to Drive and clicking New, and you can create a new folder, you can upload a file, uh, you can upload an entire folder, or you can create one of these different types of files right in your web browser, and that's what we'll do uh, very shortly. So I'm going to click on one of my folders, and this is the document I just had open, and uh, we're going to create uh, a new document, but we're going to create it back in the original folder, which you can click on by clicking on My Drive, so back to the original folder, and then I'll show you how to so I'll show you how to create a file and then I'll show you how to move it around. So let's create um, a document. I'm going to click on Google Docs and here we have a blank document. We can we can title it example example document, press enter and now it's got a name and then we can create uh, some quick text. And as you can see, you can highlight and you can change the font and size just like you would in a normal text editor. Um, you can center things and change the spacing to double spaced and uh, create bulleted lists and things. Um, all the kind of normal things that you can do uh, in a Word document. But uh, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the benefits that this has uh, over a Word document. Like the one that I'm noticing right now is you can see up here all changes saved in Drive because every change you make is automatically saved. Um, so you'll never have to worry about uh, your battery dying and losing a file because it's all right here. Um, and if you go back to My Drive, you can see that this is the file that we just created and we're working on right here. There are a couple of different ways to move this file into a, a folder. One way is to click on this little folder icon, Move to Folder, and you can see a list of the folders that I've already created. So say I wanted to move it into the 
um, journey house folder and I wanted to move it into the trainings folder I would just click there or I could create a new folder but I'm not going to do that I'm just going to click move and that will move that file so if we go back to my drive this just disappeared and it went to journey house in trainings and there it is so that's one way to move a file another way to move a file is um, by dragging it into the file list here on the left so if you go into a folder you can click on a file and you can drag and drop it into one of the files one of the folders that you already have we don't need to do that because this is a fine place for it but it's pretty easy to move files around in this um, in this in the browser here I'm gonna go back to the document by clicking on the tab and um, that's how you can move it around now let's talk a little bit about how you can share this document with other people and invite them to either look at it or contribute to it and edit it and you can do that by clicking the share button right now you can see it tells me it's it's only it's private and I'm the only one who can see it right now if I click share I can email a link to particular people so say I wanted to share it with uh, myself but a different email account I could I could write there's my journey house email and you can give that person different permissions for what they can do they can edit it they can comment on it or they can view it um, one thing to be aware of if I'm emailing this to someone who uh, to an account that's not a Gmail account um, they have to log in in Gmail or sorry in Google in order to edit it and there's a way to get around that if you click the advanced button you can see that um, you can change the who has access information so uh, right now it's private and only I can access it but I want to change that and I want to make it so that um, anyone who has a link can view or comment or edit that file so I'm gonna click I want to allow people to edit it if they have the link and that means that no sign-in is required so that they don't have to have a Google account in order to edit it um, and that way you can share it with anyone um, anyone you want and they don't need a Google account so I'm gonna click Save and now anyone with who has a link can edit and now I can go ahead and send that uh, invitation to my uh, other email account or anyone I want and I can I can add a message in there saying here's the document we're going to work on and I can send that message and it's gonna make sure that you want to do that you're sending it to that email account since there's no Google account associated anyone holding this inv invitation will have access without signing in and that's okay I want them to have access so I just sent that email another way to share it is there's a link that allows people to access and you can just right click and click copy and you can post that on Facebook or email it to someone but anyone who can see that link can then edit this document which includes erasing it so you'll want to be a little careful with how you share it but that's how you can share a document with other people so that they can add to it uh, and edit it to add comments you can see there's a button up here called comments and if multiple people are editing the same document it's helpful sometimes to add in a comment rather than to delete or change something you can just um, add a comment like that and it'll say who's adding the comment if they've signed in with a gmail account and you can say you can comment on something and it'll just stay on the side here and this is how multiple people can um, talk with each other about what they'd like to change without actually changing it um, so that other people can make a decision and weigh in and you can you can respond respond to comments by clicking on it and replying to it so that's how the comments work and then because you'll probably want final documents to be in PDF or in Microsoft Word format and not in this online format there's a really easy way to do that and that's by going to file 
download as and that will allow you to download it as a Microsoft Word document as a PDF document or just a plain text document but those are the most common uh, formats and this if I click this button it will download it as a document and I can open it up right in Microsoft Word and there it is so this is a way to create documents in Google Docs share them with other people and make comments and download them as uh, as a Word document format for sharing or you can download it as a PDF for sharing with other people once you have the final version. I hope this is helpful and kind of explains why I tend to use um, the Google Apps and Google Docs um, and why in the in future videos I'll be focusing on Google Sheets and not Excel because there are a lot of uh, overlap there's a lot of overlap between Google Sheets and Excel. The, most of the formulas are the same and the structure is the same, but Google Sheets gives you the ability to share with other people and connect um, data sources online and access your files online rather than having to use a computer that has uh, Microsoft Excel on it. So hopefully this, this quick uh, orientation video explains why I'll be using Google Docs and uh, I hope you feel comfortable being able to create and share these kinds of collaborative documents.